Saudi Arabia's Air Force already uses German-made Iris T missiles, but their stocks are running low because of the weapons export ban imposed by Germany in 2018. Now Berlin is ready to deliver 150 Iris Ts to Riyadh. It's a sharp U-turn by the German government. Before now, Saudi Arabia's role in the war in Yemen and the brutal killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi were reasons to hold back sending weapons. But the conflict between Israel and Hamas has changed the calculus. Saudi Arabia's enemies in Yemen, the Iran-backed Houthis, have taken up the fight against Israel, attacking shipping in the Red Sea and firing rockets towards Israeli territory. As Germany's economy minister outlined on a visit to Riyadh, the Saudis can now help protect Israel. The country's foreign policy is playing a different role than it did a few years ago in relation to the war in Yemen, where Saudi Arabia is making serious efforts to establish peace, and also looking at Israel and the conflict in the Gaza Strip, where its efforts to de-escalate are impacting the region. Saudi Arabia mounts the Iris T missiles on Eurofighter jets built in Europe. These aircraft too could soon be delivered to Riyadh. Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock has said she's in favour. We see Riyadh's efforts for a better future in the region. Saudi Arabia is making a significant contribution to Israel's security these days and is helping to contain the risk of a regional conflagration. This is why we do not see that we, as the German government, should oppose the British plans for additional Eurofighters for Saudi Arabia. The change of heart on providing weapon systems to an autocratic country like Saudi Arabia may cause problems within Chancellor Scholz's government. Many in the coalition parties are opposed. But the decision on Iris T missiles shows that the Middle East crisis is already changing policies in Berlin.